Hello everyone, hope you are well on a Tuesday night. Is it time to leave America? I'm going to talk about that. That is something that's being talked about more here lately. And I've had some emails asking me to do a video on it. I'm also going to share a really good, encouraging verse. So stay tuned for that as well. But first, there was a comment in my last video that well, I thought was very interesting and it said that they had a scan this person had a scanner radio and they were listening in I guess the police scanner or emergency scanner radio and they were listening to what was going on I believe it was Saturday this past Saturday night during the riots that went on in Chicago and they said that uh, the biggest thing they noticed was that the the uh, law enforcement units were asking for backup. They just kept asking for backup because they were vastly outnumbered, of course. Kept asking for backup, and the reply from dispatch over and over said, we have no one else to send. We have no one else to send. That's it. I mean, think about that for a minute. But that is very telling. And I think we've only begun to see the start of that and and if you think that's bad just wait just wait okay back to our question now like I said I've had some emails asking me about this and I've noticed some other people talking about it in comments uh, there are a couple of other content creators who have brought this question forward and you know with all that's going on in the United States uh, they, they're saying you know is it time to leave you know and you know, if you think about it, I mean, collapse. Just think about the word collapse on many levels. Economic collapse, I mean, here in the United States. And you could even lump Canada. You can even say North America, basically. But I think the, the, the specific question was United States, time to leave America. But uh, economic collapse, you have societal breakdown. You got political corruption, collapse, education in the toilet, crime, on the increase, bad. Culture, in the toilet, you know, everything's upside down. What is good is called is being called evil. What is evil is being called good. We see this. Healthcare, breaking down. Food supply, chain supp uh, supply chain. You know, we have still have problems with that. Retail's in big time trouble. I mean, you name it, just about any corner of our, just about any institution right now is in is on the ropes. Military as well. So I can see where that question is coming up. Now, if you think about it, though, and these are just some things that came to mind when I, when I thought about this question before I answer it, you know, myself. You know, many of our ancestors came here to have a better life, to escape where they were because they were under tyranny or they didn't have the freedom they wanted. So they came to the United States, the land of the free, and have a new opportunity. So many of our ancestors did, uh, you know, even if, you know, if you look at my, I was looking at my, um, some of my ancestry and on my dad's side, it was traced back to the mid 1600s, uh, uh, an immigrant from Wales came over. I believe it said he was an indentured servant, like older teenager at the time. On mom's side, German, a native from Germany. She came over here when she was 19 years old, learned the language, uh, assimilated into society, became a naturalized citizen, did things, and did the work, learned, you know, and became a citizen. You're you would be tough to find somebody more patriotic than my mom and many other immigrants who came here from different countries. So still, if you think about it, a lot of people still risk their life and limb to get into this country, even today. So think about that. I mean, these are just things that are running through my mind. You know, immigrants make up this country in a large part, you know. Uh, is the American dream still a thing? Is it valid? 
I believe it's possible. I believe it's more difficult now than ever before, maybe more difficult than ever before in recent modern history. Uh, like I said, I think it's still possible. I think it's just much more unlikely or, or much take much longer to attain. And I believe we're reaching a point to where it's pretty much gone, Un unfortunately, it's sad. So the, que the other big question that came to my mind when, it, when you know, if it's time, you know, is it time to leave America or should we? Where would you go? You know, we were talking about this last night here, Ms. Dog and I, like, where, where, okay, oh, I'm ready to leave, I gotta leave the country, if this person gets elected, blah, 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 where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go that has more freedom than you have now? And think about that for a minute. Freedom of speech. Religion. Work. And I believe there's no, there's really no right or wrong answer to this, you know. Uh, so, I, I, you know, depending on your circumstances, it may be, uh, depending on who you know, if we, where you have family in the world, it might be the best thing for you to leave. It may not be. I would like your, before I go any further, before I forget to ask, you know, definitely let me know in the comments what, you know, your thoughts on this. Would you, would you ever even consider it? You know, and then where would you go if, if you say yes, dog? I, I'm I'm thinking about and I'm willing to leave. Where are you going to go? What's your what's your top three or what's your your top choice? Where are you going to head to? A lot of people are saying South America uh, because of the climate and because if there is a nuclear war, it would be less affected. I don't really know about that. I'm not sure. Kind of makes sense. And then I've heard other people say north into the Yukon territory. You know, especially if you're able to live off grid, that would be the place in the Yukon, north north. Are you going to be in Europe? I don't know. I mean, you're, then you're closer to a lot of the stuff that's you know a lot of uh, conflict that's going on over there. Again, where would you be more free? Would they have the Second Amendment? Would they have anything related, even close to the Second Amendment? Does that matter to you? As for us, uh, we are stay. We would stay. We don't see leaving. Uh, this is the Alamo. This is our Alamo. It's what we call it. And uh, you know, we were born here. We were raised here. We've built. We've developed. We've sacrificed. Raised families. We've worked here, and we will die here. I mean, that, you know, uh, barring some really crazy, crazy, weird circumstance, we're staying. We, we will be here. Now, <clears throat> there's a possibility that we may move into a different part of the state, or, uh, you know, right now we're in North Georgia. There's a possibility, you know, that we could move to a different part of the state or into another state. Uh, so... That's something we talk about from time to time, nothing real soon. But that's possible. You know, the United States is large enough to where you could move to another region and it's almost like another country. You know? uh, so, so that's something to think about as well. Are you just better off moving to a different region of the country? Ultimately, we are citizens of Christ. At least for those of us who are Christians, you know, that's the way we look at it in a long term, everlasting view. That no matter what happens, you know, oh, America's fallen. Is it going to fall? Is it, you know, is it already? Is it going to be insignificant in the Bible? Whatever. Uh, the bottom line is we are citizens. We belong to Christ. And that's where we are going to end up. And that's where we will end up forever. But again, we we choose to stay here. I, I think we can do all we can to make it better here. You know, what can we do ourselves? You know, and, and uh, that's the that's that's the way we look at it, at least for now. And Teddy is trying to weigh in on the situation over there near him, but. Uh, you know, we, we are entrenched here. We have family, church here. Uh, we have a lot of family kind of somewhat, not real close to us, but within the same region as us. So that's another factor. You know, if you have family, you have ties close to you. You don't want to leave that. 
or maybe you do. It depends on your city. Everybody's different. You know. I think another thing that came, the big thing that ran through my mind as well is local. It's important to concentrate on local. I've talked about this before. Is that you know no matter what's happening on the world stage or uh, you know nationally, you don't agree with what matters a lot is right where you live, the county and state, especially the county you live in. You know who's running the county. Look at the leaders. Who's the sheriff? What is what is that person like? The sheriff of your county is very powerful. That is a very powerful person. And then in theory, I know it's not always like this, but in theory, the sheriff answers to the U.S. Constitution. The sheriff does not or shouldn't uh, answer to the, the president of the United States or even the governor for that matter. Uh, they, they answer to and uphold the, con the Constitution. Uh, they can deputize people. You know, that's a lot of power. So think about that. And who is your sheriff? You know who it is. Have you met that person? You don't necessarily have to meet them. But do you, what kind of person is it? Uh, we have a very good one where we live. Now, that's that's changing, or I think it, I don't think it's already changed yet. It's going to. Uh, hopefully, uh, it'll be another good, good choice that comes in there, you know. We will see. Things are always changing. So that is that is where we stand at least right now. Again, share your thoughts. You know, are you ready to uproot and go? Is in the thing holding you back here? You know, and where would you go? Where do you think is a better opportunity right now? Again, a lot of our ancestors back in the day, they decided to leave wherever they they came from. You know, and and, and thought it was worth it to 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 get on a boat and take off. You know. All right, the verse is from Acts chapter 18, verses 9 through 10 says, And the Lord said to Paul one night in a vision, Do not be afraid, but go on speaking, and do not be silent, for I am with you, and no one will attack you to harm you, for I have many in this city who are my people. Amen. Let not your heart be troubled. If you have the opportunity, speak up. Stand up for yourself, for your faith. And be bold enough to proclaim the name of Jesus. And stand up for your right to practice your faith in peace. Okay. Again, share your thoughts. Let's stay safe. God bless you. I'll see you soon.